What's up, everybody? We are back. John Della Rose here, the leading Hispanic voice in science fiction. And today I'm going to highlight for you the Heinlein Virginia editions. Obviously, some of them are still in shrink wrap. Most of them are. Uh, I've read a lot of them, but I'm, I'm going through as I can. This is the leather-bound edition of the Heinlein books that was put out by the Heinlein Society, I think. I, I forget the name of the, the company or whatnot. But you see, you get a nice... Woo, we're all kind of stuck together here. Here's, here's, a, here's a good example. Got a nice leather-bound version of this. And they're limited to 2,000 copies total. And he, uh, there's a nice quote about Virginia, who was Robert Heinlein's wife. And so I got these. I'm a big Heinlein fan. I know some of our folk are, are not so much. Some are who follow me. Uh, but I, I got this whole deal because I thought, you know what, it'd be great to have these in, in a nice format that will last or good shape. It's got the little, uh, it's got the little ribbon bookmark also in here, which I love those. Those make me happy. It makes me feel like I'm reading like something very literary, you know, um, <laughs> it's fun. So these are, this is the future history. So this is a, the future history is, is a bunch of short stories and things like that that kind of tie his worlds and stuff like that together. And so, um, and every one of these has a nice introduction on various things from Heinlein. You get, you get all these like random tidbits about him, which is very fun also. And this is it. You'll notice that there's kind of a weird order. All the books are numbered, and I actually put them in numbered order. It starts out with I Will Fear No Evil, Time Enough for Love, Starship Troopers. Uh, so very odd ordering. And so I actually asked, I reached out to them as, as to why they're in this order. I was like, is this a chronological order of future history or something like that? It's not. Um, what happened was they actually published the first few volumes, and then uh, what happened was they actually had to switch printers. Uh, and since these were already printed, they, the printer went out of business or something like that. They, they had to like continue on from the line there too. And they, uh, they, they kind of had things going in tandem. And so the books just ended up kind of in a haphazard order. You get most of the juvenile novels in together, which is nice. Uh, so those are most of my favorite ones. Uh, I've read, I've read, Almost all of them, I, even though some of them are in shrink wrap, I've read them in different forms before I actually got these. So you got Rocket Ship Galileo, Red Planet, which I just did a review of, Farmer in the Sky, Between the Planets, Starman Jones, Star, uh, The Star Beast. There's there's tons of good stuff here, um, which is which is really a lot of the best stuff. Citizen of the Galaxy I read recently, um, and 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 it, it's got a bunch more too. So uh, this is how to be a politician. So he wrote like this like uh, <laughs> random. Uh, he was, he was going to run for office at some point, And I think that is somewhat of a parody. I haven't read that yet. Can't wait for it. Um, and then it gets into some of the, the later stuff, uh, number of the beast Friday, um, just a bunch of different stories all through here. He's got ex expanded universe. He's got his books on writing, creating a genre. The moon is harsh mistress is probably one of my, if not my favorite book. And then after, after all those get done, you get into some really cool content and I'm, I'm reading, I'm partially reading this right now. There's the nonfiction of Heinlein volume one. There's a volume two. There's just letters he wrote. So if you, I mean, you can really get into this guy's head quite a bit here. He did some screenwriting and that's on here. Um, and then I, I'm not sure what these other two are. I'll have to look it up, but yeah, very cool stuff. So uh, I, I really enjoyed getting into this stuff. This actually has a short story he wrote while he was in the Navy, like the first credited short story. And it was actually really fun. Uh, the, the, there's a preface to it saying it's not his best work or whatever, but I really enjoyed it. So I think it's all stuff that's worth reading. And this is a really cool collection. So I'm stoked because, you know, I just love cool books, especially matching nice uniform things on the shelf like this. Always looks awesome. And this is the Heinlein Virginia edition. I highly recommend it. And if you're a Heinlein fan and maybe you become a Heinlein fan and uh, from getting these. Uh, so I think the value is pretty good. It ends up being about 20 to $25 a book, something like that. Um, and so it's a lot better than like your Easton press where you get those $200 leather bound books. Um, and you know, you get the whole collection, you, you know, that you're complete. Um, now I will say there are a number of typos in these editions. Uh, so, you know, I, I, a lot of it is in weird spots, like the title of the book, 
up top on the top of the page won't match up on a random page or something like that. So it's stuff that doesn't really throw you out too badly, but they could have cleaned it up a little better on that level. But I still enjoy it. Uh, I still love these books. And now I know why the numbers are what they are. They are just random. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's it. Hit that like and subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love showing collection stuff um, and it's very fun. I'll talk to you guys soon.